Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be attempting to recreate this um, this kind of this drain gang hyper pop Y2K kind of aesthetic. I'm going to attempt to recreate this and show you guys my artistic process and sort of how I go about doing that. I'm not going to this isn't like a tutorial or anything, but like if anybody wants to follow along, go for it. I'm just, I'm not like, I just want to preface, I'm not some sort of professional graphic designer. I just do this for fun. And that's what I'm doing here today. So yeah, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have a, uh, a square canvas here for myself today because the majority of these are, are like album covers or could serve as an album cover. There's a lot of cool stuff here. And the beauty of this this style is like is anything goes really. Like there's there are no rules. There's no rules in art, but there's definitely no rules when it comes to drain gang hyper pop art. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna start start out in Pinterest like I normally do to find my stock images, my base images, my backgrounds, whatever. And I think I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, what do I want to start with? Probably some sort of like Y2K neon something, like something like this. Let's see. I'm going to save this for later because this is absolutely going to help out later. I'm just going to turn it off for now, though. Yeah, that's going to be a good overlay to use. There's lots of lightning, sort of like electricity. They give like, this kind of aesthetic gives off this, the like an electric vibe. Like a very, very busy electric and sort of captivating vibe. And I'm not really seeing anything I really like. This is just, this is so basic. This is cool. But like all of these are, half of these are already edited into what I'm trying to do. So we're getting there. We're getting there. There's something. This is, this is cool. You know, we're just going to go with this. We're going to, we're going to start with this. We're going to throw this in here and I'm going to make this kind of big. gonna look kind of weird but we'll get to, we'll, we'll fix it up so yeah we've got this as our as our first first line and then now I'm just gonna pretty much what I like to do is start like stacking stuff when I'm making when I'm using this kind of style there's a lot of cyber sig sigilism I think is what it's called yeah there's a lot of this present in the in that in the aesthetic that I'm going for here. I'm going to try and find one with a white background because I think it's going to be cooler looking when I blend it with the first image I have in there. I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to go like this. So we're just put it on top like that and then blend it in and I think I'm gonna do like a cut out maybe like that so this looks cool so far is this background image gonna screw me over no okay all right cool so I like this so far that's looking good now I'm gonna ooh, uh, I'm gonna find some sort of identifiable I like this a little ghost a little ghost action never hurt anybody. I think I'm gonna bring this one in too. This one underneath everything. Cool. And what I'm gonna do with this one is is cut out the black from it. So I'm just gonna take off everything, select, color range, and we're just gonna get black. And we're gonna find one that looks 
looks good. That's cool. Do that. Delete all the black. So we are just left with this little ghost. You know, I'll turn back everything. And yeah, we got this guy chilling. Of course, I'm going to recolor him in a minute, but I think we need some more stuff right now. We need some more action. Some more insanity. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of... This is sick. I'm going to try and vo avoid, like, images that are pretty much the final product of what I'm trying to make. Because that's just... Ooh, I really... I am a fan of this. I am a fan. I'm going to put this in. I'm definitely going to want to get this incorporated somehow. You know what I'm going to do, actually, first, is just sort of merge what I have. I don't, I don't see myself editing these any further, so now I can, now I can, like, sort of have more freedom with whatever this thing is. Yeah, uh, that works. That, that's cool. Maybe like this. And I kind of want our ghost though to to shine through a little bit. I don't know how to do that. Dang, I just I think I'm just going to erase some of this. Like a soft eraser, I guess. Bro. Come on now. What is... Oh, I got the smudge tool, man. I didn't get the eraser. There you go. All right, so let's get our ghost in here. Just roughly going through this with the eraser right now. There's still a lot more that's going to be done, so have some faith here. Trust me on this. These are absolute processes. Wow, now this is, this is edgy, Jesus. Okay, uh, we can work with that too, oops. I gotta get these on top, holy. It's almost as if I think this needs to be flipped horizontally. Yeah, yeah, that's what needs to happen. And then maybe a different. I think that looks pretty sick. And now, now we have some like realism, some sort of like actual form I don't really know how to explain it but we have some sort of like something going on back here that's not just completely random so we can go back to making this more chaotic it's really hard to explain how how I think when I make something like this so if I make zero sense I apologize and no I don't know if I like the star idea it's kind of stupid. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think this could work because we have a spider. Let's throw in a web. Let's get this up and running. How are we going to incorporate it, though, is the question. Huh. I, 
can't really honestly I think that is good it's kind of cool it just adds a little more color and now ooh, this is exactly what I was I the next thing I was gonna look for is a lightning because there is a I feel like that's a common theme in this aesthetic is a lightning and I'm probably gonna want it to come from the top of the screen but from this side because we have something going on over here already I'm gonna flip it like that and then find what I like see that is chaotic I think, I don't know if I want the light color or the dark color like this, but I think I'm going to do lighter color because a lot of, most of these, most of the, this stuff is very vibrant. And I think the more color I can put in, the better. And there's also a lot of like glow and shine, which I'm going to get to. Trust me. And I'm just going to look under here because there's some cool stuff. Like, ooh, like what is this? Is that like a, f this is like exactly what I'm looking for right now. Just abstract line art. I just hit the jackpot. Let's see, I want to find like a interesting looking one. All right, we'll just see what this, we'll, let's see what happens with this. I want to make this extremely large. Pause. Hmm. I'm liking this. I'm using the overlay, the overlay option, the overlay blending mode. And then I think I'm gonna try and find like one or two more things to just sort of really bring it together. That right there. I think, so there's like this harsh line right here that I'm trying to cover up a little bit or at least like conceal, so maybe just anything that can accomplish that a little bit could help. And even, and honestly, this looks cool. I think just the having like, yeah, that, 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 I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and group all these. Group one. And I'm going to copy the group. Turn that one off, and then this is going to become a smart object now for me. All right, cool. So now we have a big picture. And I'm going to maybe enlarge it a little bit to something like this. Yeah, that's cool. So now I'm going to look into the filter gallery and see what can be done here. Oh wow, so I have it as a smart object so you can see everything. So I'm just gonna try and like pay attention to what's in this square. If you guys can see that. Do I like a diffuse glow? Yeah, see like a diffuse glow is the type of filter that you'd find on something like this. There's a lot of, yeah, that's right there. And then I'm gonna see if I can maybe put another one on top of all this. That's sick.
I almost put like film grain on everything I do, but I don't think it fits for this. Wow, that's disgusting. Jeez, the I hate the distort filters. Ooh, honestly, the regular grain could add some to this. Eh. Just like a slight amount, I think. And I'm going to add one more filter, which was... I like the way smudge stick looked but I think there was one other one like uh, poster edges sponge paint ooh do I so I'm between paint this one and I'm I'm between this one and smudge stick right now like this is just a toss up I think for the sake of like Chaos, I'm gonna go with this one and maybe just sharpen it a little bit. Or desharp. Nah, make it less sharp. There you go. So that's it. <laughs> what the heck is this? I mean this is what we're going for, right? This is the type of stuff we want. So now I'm thinking Like, I'm just like resizing it maybe to something maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing around with this for a little while now, and I'm trying to figure out a way to like make this this square here less harsh. I'm going to just see what this looks like before I, I don't know, like try and cut it with something else. Does this look all right? I almost think this works just because of how wild this picture already is. Like, I don't think blurring it makes it look stupid. Like, obviously, this could look better, but compared to what it looked like before. Just that harsh line. I think this is much more fitting. I'm gonna arch this up a little bit so it matches. Yeah, that actually looks pretty sick. I wanna throw one more thing over it. I just, I feel like there's, there's another something that needs to be there and honestly it might just be like a regular overlay I don't know if it needs to be anything extravagant I think it just needs to be something simple like this and I think this can after this I can just do some color correcting and whatnot and we might have ourselves a product Yeah, that right there. And then... I'm looking for something Y2K here. Come on, let's let's go. Let me get something Y2K. Ooh. Like, this is so intense, but I like it. Let's see if there's like star overlay. Yeah, even this could do it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check. I have a I have a decent feeling about this one. Yeah, wait, hold up. Look at that, yo. <laughs> I'm liking that. Let me blur these a little bit. 
not too much. I want to still be able to see them. But yeah, that right there is pretty sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another smart object out of this. And now I'm just gonna do some final touches. I think with like curves and hue and saturation, and just finish this thing out. I want you to be able to make out some of the stuff in this picture, so I'm reducing, yeah, that, hold up. There you go, that's, that's good there. And then I'm going to see what, I don't know why I'm. Maybe even, I like the colors we have. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring them down. I think bringing them down makes the image more viewable, personally. And then just turning the brightness up a little bit. And then I'm going to combine these. And... Check the filter gallery real quick. See if I can just, if there's anything here that'll really conclude it. So I just found this water paper filter and it honestly kind of works. It looks kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. It's taking away from the image a lot, but as a filter it's kind of cool actually. I think that might be the, f the, the finishing touch this thing needed. Or maybe this. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to add some text, so I'm going to download a font called Art Dystopia, it has some cool, like, punk, death metal, cool style to it, I like this font a lot, and I don't have it on my PC right now, so I'm just downloading it. Come on now. There you go. Is that ready for me? I might have to restart Photoshop. Tell me it's there, please. It is. Cool. So I'm just going to do... What do I want to call this? I'm just going to go chaos. I'm not gonna lie, this font can be kind of shysty. Not every word looks good in this font because some of the letters are hard to read. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna go blending options. I'm gonna put some drop shadow on it so we can see what we we have here. And I wanna like link it in here somehow with this color. That's cool. I don't know what this is. How did that get there? Chaos.
I think I'm actually going to make this just regular black. Yep, that looks good. Now I'm just going to turn it into a smart object, bring it to the filter gallery, and give it the same treatment here with the diffuse glow. And that right there. I do like this. Yeah. Yeah. That right there is pretty... Pretty Drain Gang-esque, if you ask me. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so it looks less... Now I want to put the font in somewhere where it looks like there's a lack of uh, action, so I might just put this right here. And so that looks good, but I have, and I'm going to, all right, so with that, I'm going to add one more text layer. I'm going to have it say embrace. I'm going to make the whole thing say like embrace chaos because that's sort of what's what we are, looks like we're doing, I guess. We're going to give this thing the exact same effects as the f other one. Except this one, I think I'm going to bend a little bit. Just because I think that's going to make it look cool. This doesn't need any adjustment. kind of readable I guess but it doesn't matter if it's readable this is that's the beauty of this now let's just do that and with that we have the final image yeah so this this was messy this was definitely a messy video uh my brain is about as chaotic as the picture you guys see right there so <laughs> clearly this was probably not very easy to follow, but I think it's important to sort of document my my whole thought process and sort of show you guys how making a graphic like this goes and just sort of all the unpredictability of it and just like constantly wanting to add more or changing what you already have or just sort of just the process really is what I'm trying to document here and I think I think I captured it pretty well, and I think I achieved my goal with uh, the Drain Gang Hyper Pop Y2K aesthetic. I think mine, my picture could definitely fit in with those, and therefore I am proud of it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like the video and subscribe. I appreciate it if you watched all the way through. I doubt anybody did, but if you did, I love you. Thank you. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.